So here we are today uh, using Crystal Cow R to cast up a cast out of Crystal Cow. Crusty Cow, I should say. So there we are, we got two uh, pots there. One's full of Crystal Cow and one's full of water. The ratio is around three to one, but uh, more specifically, it's 100 to 35 so that would mean one kilogram of powder to 350 milliliters of water so that's your basic formula so there we are we're mixing up the uh, crystal cow and if you noticed i added the powder to the water that's the best way to do it to get a nice consistent mix so mix that gently to avoid uh, introducing any unwanted air bubbles as usual so now we're pouring into a silicon mold which will uh, create our cast so pouring gently so this crystal cow is very hard it's it's like plaster of paris but it's a lot harder it sets off like rock very hard stuff um so there i am just getting the air bubbles i filled the mold up about a quarter of the way just up to where the head is and just tapping out any unwanted air and there's there's a kind of recess under the chin of this particular cast so i want to get the air away from there and try and get as many air bubbles out as possible and now we're just uh, top up the mold we just go straight to the top just pour it carefully until we get to the top and once I've settled into the mould, I'll go around the sides of the mould and just tap any air bubbles out. It'd be nice to have a kind of mild vibrating table for this type of thing. Uh, or maybe a vacuum chamber. I'm not sure if um, this plaster is suitable for vacuum, vacuum chambers. So it'd be interesting to find out. So if anybody knows about that, um, write a comment in the comments below. So there I am, tapping the air out or hoping to tap any trapped air inside the crystal cow so the setting time from the manufacturer is say between uh, 10 and 25 minutes to demold but I wait around 45 minutes to an hour to demold just to be on the safe side any excess plaster left over I put into smaller moulds just so not to waste the plaster. So now taking away the elastic bands around this silicon mould and we'll demould the Christical cast from the silicon mould. And there we have it, a relatively clean cast. Needs a little bit of cleaning up, uh, clean up the base and maybe fill in a few little bug holes that uh, did get trapped in there. But that won't be a problem. And there we are, job done. So there's this, I've done quite a few of these uh, casts, so the excess plaster went into some little frogs and some tea light candle holders, as you can see there. And there we are, job done, simple job. Hope you enjoyed the video and over and out for now.